Let's make some simple and adorable Valentine's Day decor. Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. I used to think decorating for Valentine's Day was absolutely ridiculous until I had my kids. My three daughters love Valentine's Day so much and they love decorating for it and doing little special family things together and special little treats. So now I like to decorate for Valentine's Day, whether it's just one little vignette or going all out. And this year, since we can't really do anything outside of our home for Valentine's Day, I thought it'd be fun to make a few cute DIYs and decorate our porch for the season. I'm sharing three simple and quick Valentine's DIYs that you can do to make your home feel decorated and special for your family this Valentine's season. So let's get started. Let's begin by making a romantic wreath for Valentine's Day. This would also look great for spring as well. I am using this 10 year old Ikea picture frame. I'm going to give it a little upcycle here. You might remember this frame if you have been an Ikea fan for as long as I have. Plus I'm using these faux peonies I had on hand originally from Amazon. I will link them in the description box below. Plus this faux eucalyptus from Ikea as well. You can use any picture frame you have on hand or anything you find on Facebook marketplace or the thrift store. You could use any sort of shape or style of frame. Really the options are endless for this one. Now just take your faux florals and cut all of the stems off and then arrange them on your frame in the bottom left hand portion of the frame. I love to do this asymmetrically. You could do some sort of symmetrical version of this wreath as well, but I love this idea of clustering everything in the bottom left. Once you have an arrangement that you are happy with, you can take hot glue and your glue gun and glue all of your florals in place. For this wreath here, I am using five of these large faux peonies and I'm using a couple of the little bud peonies. Once all of your large flowers are glued into place, you can go ahead and add some eucalyptus stems. So I was just using one Ikea faux eucalyptus stem for this DIY and I just cut off a few of the pieces from it. You can kind of tuck the stems behind the flowers and glue them in place with the hot glue. Next, grab four of these wood slices. I also found these off Amazon and just had them in my stash. And you can also grab a permanent marker as well. Now write X's on two of these wood slices and O's on the other ones. You could also use a Cricut machine to cut out vinyl into the X and O shapes and attach that as well. There's a few different options for this step. Now you can take a piece of macrame cord or you could take twine or any sort of yarn and glue a piece of it to the top left part of your picture frame. Now stretch the twine out diagonally down the picture frame just like I'm doing here. Put another dab of hot glue on the end and attach it to the back of your picture frame. Once this is secure, place a dab of glue on the top part of the string and then attach your first wood slice to it, the first X. And then you continue doing this and attach an O, the other X, and the final O to make a cute little XOXO sentiment. And that's it. This upcycled romantic Valentine's wreath is all done. I'm going to use it to style our front porch chair. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video for Valentine's day, I'm keeping it nice and simple. I found these two faux lit birch trees from Costco several years ago, and I use them a lot in my decor. They're interior and exterior trees. You can usually find them in Costco in about October. I'm also using my faux boxwood that I use for many seasons and now I'm putting my DIY wreath up here on the front door. The next thing I want to make for my Valentine's Day front porch is a no sew fabric heart banner. I've always loved creating banners for different seasons, Christmas, Valentine's Day, fall, and I think they make really cute party decorations as well. For this one, I am gonna use my Cricut to cut the fabric out. I'm using my Cricut Maker, which has the rotary blade that can cut fabric, but you don't need to have a Cricut to make this DIY. 
I'll make sure to leave the design space file if you do want to use a Cricut Maker in the description box below. I have these three inch wide hearts set up and you can easily just cut them right on to some fabric from your Cricut Maker. If you don't have a maker, just find any heart shape online and print it out to be three inches wide and just use that as a pattern to cut your hearts out by hand. How many hearts you cut out is going to depend on how long you want your banner to be, how many hearts you want on your banner. I wanted 16 hearts on my banner so I cut out 32 heart shapes. So just decide on the number of hearts you'd like for it and cut twice as many. For the fabric, I would recommend something that doesn't fray on the edges. So I'm using a minky sort of fabric here. When you cut it, it's not going to fray at all. You could also use something like fleece or felt for this DIY. Once you have all of your heart pieces cut out, you're going to take one, put some hot glue around the top third of the heart, leaving that bottom little V open and place another heart piece right on top of that. Press it all down into place to set it and then take some polyester fiber fill and stuff that inside. You don't need too much of this fiber fill, just a couple little bits like I'm using here, just to give the heart a little bit of a 3D look. Once you've stuffed it a little bit like this, you can take your hot glue gun again, put some hot glue on that bottom V of the heart and push the two heart pieces together. I find hot glue works really well for this project, but you certainly could use a sewing machine instead if you prefer that look. But using the hot glue gun definitely makes this really nice and quick and really easy for almost anyone to do. The next step is to take some macrame string or some twine or yarn and leave about 12 inches of free string at the end. And again, use your hot glue gun, place some hot glue on either tip of the heart, just like this, and then place the heart onto the string. You can space your hearts however you'd like for your banner. I'm spacing mine about three inches apart and then continuing on gluing my hearts to the banner. Again, you could also sew the hearts if you prefer, just using a sewing needle and some thread. I like to leave my string on the ball or the skein until I have my banner completely finished and then I trim it at the end. This ensures that I don't run out of string for my banner. And here is this cute little Valentine's Day banner all finished. I think this would look so sweet for all sorts of seasonal decor for Valentine's Day. It would look cute for a birthday party. It would look really sweet in a child's bedroom. I have it here on our mantle. And then I thought it would look really cute on our front porch for Valentine's Day. So I'm using little command hooks and placing them on either side of my door and then placing this DIY no sew heart banner on top. And I'm also using this pom-pom yarn I found at Joann's a few years ago and placing that on the hooks as well. The final DIY I want to show you are some marbled heart ornaments. These have a variety of different uses as well and we're going to make them out of polymer clay. I'm using this Fimo leather effect clay, but you can use any polymer clay that you like for this DIY. I didn't have the perfect pink, so I had to create my own pink color. You can create your own custom colors with polymer clay. What I do is I just roll my clay pieces into little snakes, twist them around, and then fold them, twist them, fold them, twist them, until my two clay colors blend together nicely. Once I had the perfect pink color, I was ready to go ahead with the rest of this DIY. So take one package of pink clay, take one package of white, roll them into long cylinders, and then you can twist them together just like this. Then keep rolling and twisting and folding just like I'm doing here until you get your desired marble look. You can use any two colors you like for this DIY. I just love the pink and white together for Valentine's Day and I know my daughters love this too and I thought this would be a great craft to do with them as well. 
Now you can roll your marbled piece of clay into a ball, kind of squish it down into a circle shape and roll it with a rolling pin. Once your clay is about a quarter inch thick, you are ready to go. Place a piece of plastic wrap on top of the clay. This is going to make the edges of your little hearts rounded. And then take a small round heart shaped cookie cutter and start cutting out heart shapes from your clay. Then you can pull off all of the excess clay. Don't worry if what happened to me happens to you if it kind of doesn't come out perfectly. You can use your hands to pat down the edges of your hearts and you can also sand polymer clay down once it's baked as well. Then you're going to take a small little round cutter and cut little holes at the top center of each heart. This is going to be for the string. And then if you want, you can use these little letter stamps and add letters to each of the hearts. I'm going to add A's and B's and C's for my girls because I want to use these as little place settings for a Valentine's Day dinner for them. Next, bake your ornaments at about 265 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or until they're nice and hard. And here is how they look right out of the oven. So cute. I love the little monograms on them. And then finally, you can take some string, cut it into the length that you desire, place it into the hole on top and tie it together. If you want to use these as napkin rings for play settings, you can just leave them untied and tie them around a napkin like I did here. I think this is so cute. Or you can just tie them and use them as ornaments. What I'm doing here is I'm placing them onto these birch trees here on my porch. I also found these large wicker heart ornaments at Dollarama a couple years ago and I love how everything looks together. I think that the porch looks so cheerful and cute with all of this pink and white accents. I'm now placing down an Ikea mat. I'm not sure how clean it's going to stay but it was really inexpensive and it's washable. This is an old DIY I did last year. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. A really easy no so cute pillow for Valentine's Day. And now my simple DIY Valentine's Day porch is all done and we can enjoy it right up until spring. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed these Valentine DIY and decor ideas. Let me know down in the comments below which one is your favorite. Also, do you decorate anything for Valentine's Day? I would love to know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy and watch next right up here.